हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एक्टिव फिल्टर्स फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ फिल्टर ए फिल्टर पास वन बैंड ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड रिजेक्ट अनदर बैंड ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज सो फिल्टर इज यूज्ड टू पास वन रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज एंड टू रिजेक्ट अनदर रेंज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज a filter can be a passive filter or active filter so there are two types of filter passive filter as well as active filter a passive filter consists of resistor capacitor inductor so a passive filter consists of only the passive components they are used above 1 megahertz and have no power gain and they are relatively difficult to tune so these passive filters does not have any power gain and they are relatively difficult to tune the active filter consists of resistor capacitor inductor and along with these components we are having the amplifier which is an active component so that's why these filters are known as active filters so we can say passive filter consists of only passive components and active filter consists of passive components along with an active component generally we will be using an op amp as an amplifier these active filters are used below 1 megahertz and they are having power gain and they are relatively easy to tune so these active filters have power gain and they are easy to tune so we can say a filter can separate a desired signal from undesired signals so a filter can separate the desired signal from an undesired signals so it can block interference of signal enhance speech and video and also it can alter signals in other ways also so the major advantage of filters is it can block interference of signal and it can enhance speech and video and it can also alter signal in other ways also so generally in our syllabus we will be concentrating on active filters which means we are having passive components along with that an amplifier which is usually an operational amplifier there are four types of filters low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop filter and all pass filter a low pass filter is one that will pass low frequencies and it will block high frequencies so we can say a low pass filter allows the signal with a frequency lower than a certain cut off frequency to pass through and it will attenuate the signal with frequency higher than the cut off frequency so these low pass filters are commonly used to remove high frequency noise and to smooth the signal a high pass filter pass the high frequency and it will block the low frequency so we can say a high pass filter allows signal with a frequency higher than a certain cut off frequency to pass and attenuate the signal with frequency lower than the cut off frequency it is often used to remove low frequency noise that is present in a, a signal a band pass filter allows the signal with a certain frequency range to pass through and attenuates the signal with frequency outside the range it is useful for isolating specific frequency bands in a, a signal a band stop filter attenuates the signal with a certain frequency range and allows signal with frequencies outside the range to pass so it is generally used to eliminate the unwanted signal all pass filter allows all frequency to pass through so these filters allows all frequencies to pass through but these filters does not change the amplitude of the signal but can be used to modify the phase of the signal this is about introduction to active filters hope you have understood the topic Thank you